It's not that we don't want to have them running. We have vehicles sitting at the garage. We don't have bodies to put, put in them. Bus driver shortage continuing to worsen. Classes are now being canceled in the Baldwin Whitehall schools due to a lack of drivers. Dozens of students were left without a ride the past couple of days, and the district is scrambling to find a solution. Erica Stanish is live at Baldwin High School with what could be adding to the problem. Erica. Yeah, well, the district is self-operated when it comes to bus transportation. And while they say that they have plenty of buses available, they just don't have enough drivers to fill the seats. And they're actually so short, we're learning that the superintendent himself is considering becoming a driver. And there aren't any secret solutions out there. There really aren't. The Baldwin Whitehall School District is in a bind as they struggle to fill the seats in their school buses. Currently, they have 65 buses available, but only 36 are running due to a driver shortage. I'm looking at every single thing I can do, including going through the training courses myself. I don't want to be a school bus driver, but I also don't want kids stranded, stranded at school. The superintendent says he's been trying to get ahead of it, looking at how many seats are open on the buses that are running, the routes they take, reload times, and even starting school earlier for some grade levels in order to get students to and from their five schools. But he says it goes beyond providing transportation for students within its public schools and includes private and charter schools within the Baldwin Whitehall School District as well. School districts in Pennsylvania are required to transport. It's called the 10 mile rule, and maybe people don't know that. But 10 miles from every border that you have, not from the center of your district, but from every border. He says 15 of the 36 buses currently running are taking students to schools miles and miles away. We're transporting all over the Pittsburgh region to somewhere about 50 schools. We have five of our own schools, but we transport to about 45 more. He says that adds to the shortage and makes bus routes longer and requires double runs. He says hiring more drivers isn't easy, saying it takes time and a lot of training. And now they're trying to find a way to take the strain off parents while also keeping students in school. It is very frustrating. I mean, I've been at this about 33 years, and this is the first time ever that we've had to cancel school or, or cancel classes for some students because of this. And so we know that some kids have the ability to, to log on remotely and, and teachers are doing their very best to put assignments out there. But this is not what's desirable. We, we know that we want to do better. I just simply don't know what the solutions are. Now the superintendent tells me that if they don't find a solution soon, there is a chance that students can go to remote learning full time. Reporting live in Baldwin, Erica Stanish, KDKA TV News.